And welcome back. It's time for our game break here after our second series. Looks like a day of three Overwatch so far. We'll have to see if Chengdu Hunters versus Fusion can deliver for us. But uh, this series here, not exactly what was anticipated. We know that the Shanghai Dragons have been on the up and up, but still have the Valiant. So seeing them get blown out of the water like this, it felt like we went back to last year, this matchup. This was not a very close affair whatsoever. No, and I think the I think the dragons were playing really well. They were delivering on all the key beats that they needed to. I think it was more so uh, an unusual level of sloppiness from the valiant today. I think this is more of a valiant loss than a, a dragons won. To be honest, I think there was many opportunities where the valiant could have come back into it. I'm not going to rail too much harder on them, and I'll said I'll focus on uh, the dragons' success here. Void, I mean, he got player of the match, evident enough. Both the diva and the Zarya performances were fantastic as well. I think Marvel's performance in the first map, who subbed out for Sashi. Not really the problem with the team. I think his Winston was serviceable. The Doomfist even managed to find a clutch pick onto uh, Fleda's Tracer. Occasionally when we moved over to Mecha... We set the tempo for how this was going to go. Yeah, there was a whole lot of not touching points and carts and things like that. Some of them, and I'd say the majority of them, were actually forced by you know the hands of Shanghai Dragons just not enabling yes, in the Valiant series. to get into yes. position. Uh, but there was uh, that one or two in there that was a little bit puzzling, a little bit of a head-scratcher from the Valiant, but it was just a very well-piloted series from the side of the Shanghai Dragons. I just Void flipping back over, showing the Zarya after playing so much D.Va as of late, just continues to look absolutely incredible on that pick. Not a day has gone by since this guy made a name for himself on, on that Zarya, and uh, yeah, he continues to excel. Great performance from him, very well-deserved player of the match. And just a quick series, I guess, that if you're a Valiant fan or if you're the Valiant themselves, they probably just would like to forget about it and focus up for the few remaining sets that they do have before their year is over. Yeah, so uh, Valiant, like I said, they're not really fighting for anything other than Pride at the moment. Um, so they will be able to have other opportunities to raise their head quite highly. Shanghai Dragons, you know, they're trailing behind the Seoul Dynasty in the overall standings at the moment after a week start in the Countdown Cup. However, they are, of course, already secured for playoffs, so they're not really to worry about it. So just to remind you, the, the three teams that have secured their positions in playoffs already will not have to go through play-ins. Seoul Dynasty, Shanghai Dragons, Philadelphia Fusion, who are going to be up next, actually, against the Shengdu Hunters. And they're obviously I, one of the funniest things I saw, Seth, I went onto Twitter after the first series of the day, and uh, lo and behold, it's not just the charge celebrating, it's the Philadelphia Fusion, because that victory, that decimation of the spark is what clinched them that position in the playoffs where they don't have to go through play. And so you saw uh, the Fusion uh, team interacting with the charge team on Twitter going, thanks, guys, appreciate it. Lots of love, hearts, and emojis. Because, uh, uh, yeah, it was a big win for Fusion today. They didn't even have to step onto the server. Yeah, I mean, you take the Ws where you where you can. That's for damn sure. But the Fusion, they're going to be looking for another one here. Because they're not a team, yes. you know, like most of the teams that we have here in the region, of course, to rest on their laurels. They're not going to be like, okay, you know what? We're in playoffs. Let's just coast. Who cares if we lose this series versus Chengdu? No, they want to be victorious on the other side of this orange chicken bowl, as we like to call it between these two squads. And uh, we'll see if they're going to be able to get it done. Because Fusion and Chengdu Hunters both have had their ups and downs throughout this season. So we'll see who's going to be able to come out on top. Who's going to be able to win that first map. And what those maps are when we come back for the break. So we'll get the teams loaded up ready in the lobby. You guys just sit tight and wait for a couple minutes. And we'll be right back.
that didn't take very long at all. Now did it. There we go. It's time to go into our final series of the evening. Fusion versus the Chengdu Hunters. This one, not much to play for because both teams are locked into their positions. Fusion currently locked into playoffs. Chengdu Hunters locked in for play-ins. But both teams are still going to be hungry for that win. They want to just, you know, like we said, play for pride, play for your fandom and try to walk away victorious in this orange chicken bowl. So one orange team will be victorious at the end of it all. The other one's going to be left bloodied and bruised on the floor. Yeah, different shades of orange. Only just probably a couple of hex code values off, but uh, of course, uh, it's still going to be competitive all the same. Uh, Philadelphia Fusion, like I said, riding a high at the moment. Um, just overall, I guess this team's had a fantastic season so far. I think their additions, the rookies they brought into it, the uh, the likes of Zest and MN3, who have become mainstay starters of the roster, have really found their own over the course of an entire year. Expect them to get a lot of playtime uh, for the rest of the season as well, because they really are delivering for the Fusion lineup and brought a breath of fresh air. Uh, hopefully, getting into the playoffs enables them to have a good benchmark of where they can challenge a little bit further and make deeper runs in the tournament. Uh, Fusion fans have been longing for success when it comes to postseason. Uh, we're finally going to be able to grab more hints of that, I feel, uh, potentially from this roster. They can just somehow manage to beat the Shanghai Dragons and the Seoul Dynasty and any other North American team that stands in their way, which might be a bit of an ask, but stocks are high on them right now, I feel. Sure, and I think that, I think Starks can be high on both of these teams at any given moment, but they can also go crashing through the floor, and you can lose your life savings in the blink of an eye. Both of these teams have competed with with the best in the region. Uh, they have looked absolutely incredible at twists and turns, but then they turn around, they play another series, and they completely bottom out, much like we saw from Hangzhou Spark earlier today. You know, beats this whole dynasty, get blown out of the water 0-3. So it can happen to either side. We'll see if it happens to either of them today. Hopefully not. Hopefully we have a somewhat competitive series to close out the evening. But first, before we get into the action, of course, let's meet our team starting with the Philadelphia Fusion. Are you ready for the show? Carpe, Carpe again! And MN3 is going absolutely nuclear! That's catches and instantly finds three kills. Charge his team on the case of Matrix as well, but Fury, excellent rabbinic flood. Spark had the numbers, but Bellatria has the space, the mines, the double kill! Shot through Aim God, he's looking for the elimination, he goes on the offensive, but Aim God shuts him down! Ooh, everybody really loves the side of the valley, picks the kids two for himself, okay. And here they are, your starting five. Of course, just given the off-take meta, we will be seeing a lot more of Fury. Belzria, he's shown up from time to time during this uh, this qualifier stage, but widely it has been the Fury show. And with D.Va continuing to rise in, uh, in stunk value, Fury, definitely a good person to have on your roster. Yeah, showing their value. We've already sung the praise of Emin Free and Zest, but Aim Golden Fixer have definitely been fantastic additions to the lineup as well. Uh, this fusion roster has been great, and we'll, well, I promise you we will talk about the Hunters in a second. Uh, they'll be coming up shortly. We'll get the starting lineup because, like Seth said, um, both these teams can be competitive. We can have a good series to close it out at the end here. Players like Leave and Jinmu have always had a phenomenal performances as it is. And, uh, yeah, I'll be curious to see what the tank lineup they'll roll out with. But here they are, starting with Daisy today. Um, okay. And you've got Monk and Nisha in the roll-up as well. Yeah. I think that this map... I, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm with you, Seth. I'm hoping that this goes the distance. I'm hoping that we do get a five mapper to close it out because it would be uh, a little bit of a fast day. Too quick for me, actually, if we went for a 9-0 day. Yeah, we might not get 15 maps, but I could settle for well, 11. That would be mm -hmm. okay with yeah. me, I suppose. Better than better than having just nine. So we'll see if these teams are going to be up to task. Daisy starting It's not something that we've seen uh, too much as of late. We have often... Uh, seen Gaga being the one to play, so I'm curious to see what the map set is going to be looking like. Um, because, uh, you know, it could be, a, it'll be interesting to see. Because if it's something like Ilios, Ilios is something where we have seen a hell of a lot of Winston play. So we'll have to see exactly well, what uh, this is going to look like as we get ready to go in. Well, I'll we'll give you a spoiler, Seth. Map number okay, one is, in fact, going to be Ilios. It's Ilios, okay. yeah. We've had two Busans. We won't have a third. 
Anyway, it's going to kick things off for us. Actually, we might get a third. Busan's going to be map number five if it goes that distance, if it goes that far and plays into the grab, uh, plays into the script we've laid out. But as you can see, the full maps there: Ilios, Paraiso, Route 66, New Queen Street, and Busan. But we haven't gone past an escort map today, Seth. We've not seen a push, which I know would make Avril very happy if he was here. <laughs> well, if we do get to push, <laughs> uh, Chengdu Hunters better hope that they have a lead because New Queen Street, while the Chengdu Hunters have been impeccable at Coliseo, New Queen Street not been a map that's too kind to them, whereas for the side of the Philly Fusion, New Queen Street has been their stomping ground when it comes down to push. They have been very, very strong on that map. So we'll see what happens and if we can even get there to begin with. But we will just go ahead and keep our fingers crossed. Starting things off on well. We talked about how Winston might be an option for these two teams, but we are having hovered, of course, the Diva and the Zarya, which have been the dominant tank choices in the meta so far. Five, four, three, two, Support line seems one. fairly consistent okay. as well. TPs to get people out. Where's the flex? What are we doing? Tracer versus Tracer. So mirror composition to kick things off on the first round. Yep, mirror comps, and it's going to be a little bit more of a, you know, a closer look at Dizey on this D.Va. Not something that we've seen a ton of. Times does go for that Zarya. Leave making battle against Zest right here off the rip. Takes a hell of a lot of damage. Receives some healing, though. He should just go on and go ahead and say thank you very much. Try to get up towards that nano boost. It's already a third of the way. Point unlocked. Point presence for Hunters. Yeah, they're inching their way forward here. Good damage in. Dizey gets anti out. Now it's going to be a break on the mech. Huge opening now for Fusion to play off the back of. MN3 being able to scoop that as well. Way out the front towards the EMP. Point finally going to be conceded over. Chungdu Hunters know that they cannot continue to play forward like that. Wrap around the back. Get the catch coming through. Anti goes out. Nisha keeps himself alive. As he's Dizey down. Zest continues to play forward. But yeah, Dizey was eliminated by Fury. That buys even more time on the percentage gain here for the side of the fusion, where it seems like we have a little bit of a bug on the, the percentage ticker. So I'm not quite sure where we're at. There we go. We're at 20%, 20%. There you go. But another take down there for leave, so it's gonna keep climbing up for the Philadelphia fusion. Hunter's struggling to find a way in here. Pulse Bomb sitting online for Zest. I think Monk might be the target of that one in a second. Monk be careful. Nisha, I don't Zest. Be a good oh, they're going for Dicey. Oh, he's just gonna get both. Pulse bomb Whoa, on Anisha, follows up with the pulse pistols on the monk, and yeah, that is just incredibly well played here from Zest. Sees that Dicey is very low, but won't quite be able to finish him off. Dicey, of course, is saying, you know what, I'm not going to go into the dropship, but I'm going to let Jinmu? you heal off of me. But uh, I don't know where Jinmu was, but I know where he is now, and that's waiting to respawn. <laughs> yeah, bit staggered, bit slow for Shangdu Hunters. 60% and the climbing at this point for the fusion. So not completely final fight territory, but they're getting close. Whoa. Spotted out. We'll translocate to safety. That EMP for MN3. I want to see what their dive looks like. How's the follow-up? Zest, they're not even yet. needed. What is happening? He's not even half. I'll tell you what's Owning him in the 1v1. Ah, well, you say 1v1, but I did see Aim God sneak. Damage. Dizey, okay. packed up. Comes an alt battery. Muck goes low, but still stays alive. Transcend is forced. Yeah, Trans to go ahead and try to escort the forward. Jinmu uses the EMP, but kills so far not going to be found. Answering EMP comes out and instantly two people disappear. It's the damage dealers on the side of the Chengdu Hunters. 93% ticking up. Dizzy low hack the mech about to be broken. Another pulse bomb. The stick was there. It doesn't matter. The break on the mech comes through. It's an extended team kill and 100% to zero on well to kick things off. I don't think anyone fusion. died. I, I don't. I, okay, well, Zest just died. Well, I think with one death and it was a suicide. Well, I will need someone to check the stat line on that one, but I can't remember seeing the Chengdu Hunters have a kill. I think that you may be correct. <laughs> oh, I think they got that's completely rough. shut out. That is a rough way to start a series, my friend. That it is. But that's why it's control, and you get multiple rounds to try to to try to play through. So you know, just gotta come back into this one stronger as we shift to lighthouse. And um, if that doesn't happen, then I think the stage is set for uh, another one-sided affair. Okay, well, hopefully we don't see it go that way, and this one's a little bit more competitive. I mean, one of really the things to take control. Trader, is that Dizey, that whole round, never built up for his uh, immortality, or his immortality field. Oh, never built up to have his self-destruct. He just couldn't 
quite get there. I think he made it to about 70%. Nisha picked off the rip. Aim God, living up to his name. Okay, they're keeping a close eye on Daisy. Volleys across the way. None of the orgs connect from both of the Zenyatas. Point presence given over to the Philadelphia Fusion. Fury's already there. That's quite fairly isolated. Daisy, he can't really contest that one, and he's going to get punished for it quite aggressively. And he moves in. He's trying to get Fury, but the first healing out fix up. It's just way too much. Daisy's still hovering on low HP. Hack now in from MN3. Takes away the ability to use that D-Matrix. He's going to try to slide up onto the high ground. Give some opportunity here for Nisha, who is surging up towards that Nana boost, much like Fixa. Pretty much neck and neck between the two Anas for now. Actually, both support on either side. Pretty much just completely even, but Fusion's still holding. Oh, man, the casual lobbing from Zez. He gets the stick. I, I mean, he makes the pulse pump look like it's the magnetic grenade from Cassidy. It just latches on. There's a fadeaway, Zest and Fury. Coming up big there, just a clearance of the board, 40% in climbing for the Fusion. Still, no final blows. <laughs> no final blows for the Hunters yet, Seth. This is, this is rough. Still eluding them, 50% now for the side of the Fusion. And we're looking for back-to-back -back 100 to zeros, and if they can do it without dying even once on either round, that is absolutely insane. Pack attempt from MN3, not gonna find anything. Does get spy checked there by Daisy. Seems like he should be able to manage to grab a self-destruct in this round. Jinmu going low, EMP still held. Needs to get healed back up. Brief second to point contest, Daisy now. Daisy gonna lose mech. Has to try to retreat, gets the D-Matrix back up in time. Keeps himself protected. But MN3, he's going on the hunt. Just in front of him, the supports. Man, great great reaction. Reaction. No, the transcendence does come in, and there's the first kill. Fix are going to be taken down. Daisy finds the elimination while he's nanoed up. Both support ultimates invested here from the side of the Chengdu Hunters. Aim God now going to be anti out. Fury just sitting on the point, trying to deny this flip from coming through. It's leave. Goes low, but Monk is there to save his life, taking down Zest. So another kill found. Self destruct burned by Fury. He's continuing to extend this point presence. The flip comes in. The very last second here, just before it would have gone into overtime. Chengdu Hunters, right, not the long last in control. Yeah, not the complete shutout we were staring down the barrel of at the moment, Seth, but 97% is a very difficult position for Chun uh, Chengdu Hunters to be in. They lose that fight, they lose control of the payload, they're probably not going to get another attempt to defend it. Okay, EMB in the back line, Jinmu. Almost gives his life for that, goes out of 8 HP before he's able to translocate out. It was a big EMP, but the follow up just was not there. He was hoping that he was just going to be able to you know, dump the ult, get a solo kill, mm -hmm. buy that much more time, get that much more percentage gain on the point. Not to be. Yeah, the, the, well, the, the thing is, though, the Antinade did come in and find free as well. So he did have the wrong kind of support. He needed a little bit of damage to help him convert some of those kills. Yeah. His team was aware of it. Oh, and God's on back on the board. There he is. Nanoed up. Turns the sights now over to the eyes. He gets the kick. There's the self-destruct. <laughs> so maybe Diva taken down. Zest somehow. Gonna get taken out by the self-destruct. A bit of a head scratcher there, but the flip is there all the same. No one can Overtime touch. Just get forced out. Chengdu Hunter Zone needs somebody to play forward onto the point. Leave. Nope. It's too late. It's too late. Every time. <laughs> what is what is what is in the water today? What's happened? Uh, every single match today, we have seen an instance where someone could touch when they did not. Uh, the chances of the Hunters actually being able to reclaim that and, and, and turn it round and still win the round out, very slim. We'll grant them that. But there was potential to extend that fight and maybe see what they could get there. Uh, we just didn't have the confidence in, I believe it was Leave who was playing on the Tracer to, to just step forward there. Maybe didn't have the dash cooldowns. It's rough, but uh, it's a frustrating sight to see when uh, uh, the Eastern teams continue to uh, struggle to touch the objective sometimes. Yep. Well... This is for, this is just once again feeling like familiar territory. I'm having deja vu series after series after series. But uh, there you have it. Philly Fusion, very dominant. A little bit more of a showing from the Chengdu Hunters in the second round. But Well was a complete wash, 100 to 0. Blown out of the water. Didn't even suffer that many deaths uh, throughout the entire map. So Chengdu Hunters, tall order for them to try to bounce back after that one. Need to make it happen, though. It's going to be Paraiso coming up next as we do get ready to go into our hybrid map. So we'll see if the Chengdu Hunters can find some stability or if it's going to be much more of the same this whole evening through. Either way, we'll be back in a few minutes, so don't go anywhere.
And we are back, one map out of the way, and things continue to trend in a similar fashion for our first two series. Fusion, they come out swinging, they take the first round of Ilios with relative ease. Some more signs of life from the Chengdu Hunters over on Lighthouse, but then, uh, I mean, I agree. I think that they inevitably would have lost the round, but we didn't even get to see them try to play it out through OT. No one got the touch. Leave was far too late trying to dash forward to extend the overtime, so things clearly a little bit off for the Chengdu Hunters at the very beginning. Let's see if they can find some stability as we go into our second map. Yeah, and then we had a substitution. Gaga coming in for Daisy. So this is probably the usual roster we'd expect to see roll out from the Hunters for the rest of the series. Maybe that provides a huge difference. I don't necessarily think the tank lineup was necessary to blame in that first map. Once again, probably just a preference thing as we head on to different map archetypes as we highlight at the top of the series. Next destination, Paraiso. It's another hybrid map. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how this play one plays out. But I think um, one of the most dominant uh, control maps we've seen in a very long time, Seth. You know, we, we talk about how we think well was deathless beyond Zest jumping into the pit at the end um, by himself under no duress whatsoever. Uh, we were, when we came out to Lighthouse, a little bit more competitive, but still felt like Fusion didn't really lose control of that series at all so far. Um, so let's see if the Chengdu Hunters can bring new life to them in map number two, as we're about to load into that shortly. Well, here we go. Paraiso to see if it could be the staging ground for a turnaround so that we can actually have 
a competitive series. That's all I'm asking for. I know that we've been doing a lot of bowling here tonight, ladies high. and gentlemen. I know that I know that Trent and myself, we've been sounding like we are probably pretty pissed off. But no, we're not <laughs> pissed at the teams. We're just pissed at I'm not seeing competitive Overwatch. And that's what we've been having this entire way through the Countdown Cup qualifier. We're getting towards the end of the season. I want to see tight-knit games. I want 15 maps in one evening. I don't want to see teams get blown out of the water. So please, Jungle Hunters, just give me something to work with. You're my last hope. <laughs> it's the last hope for today anyway, because our, our first two series, I mean, we, I wish we could go back and do those differently. Uh, but we can't. So we're living in the present. It all comes down to the Hunters to kind of rectify what we've been seeing so far. They're on the defense first. We've got Leave on the Sojourn, and Gargar playing the Winston. Philadelphia Fusion could roll out with a similar composition. Um, but, I, yeah, I think they're going to keep on to it. Because if there was going to be an Ash being played by Fusion, I have a feeling MN3 would be doing that. Um, so, I, no doubt, Zest would probably be going over the Tracer, I believe, to uh, run out on this map. But quick pick for okay. a Widow. Up first. Quick pick. Okay, shot goes over towards Gaga, not going to get the hit. Swap over. There you go. It's going to be Zest over to the Genji now. Leave on the Sojourn. Let's see if he can find some more impact compared to the Tracer, which was kind of getting manhandled on Elios. Mm. Very separated team. Everyone's playing around terrain quite well at the moment. First aggressive move by Furies goes up to the high ground, trying to challenge Gaga, who's used those jump pads, and he's got nothing okay. left. Zest takes him out of the sky. Well, first blood found, Zest claims it. Already a third of the way towards the Dragon Blade. Leaves barely gotten to shoot at anybody yet. They pull back, full retreat. treating and scattering around the point. Fury playing forward, Jinmu watching the flank. He's gonna rotate around the back. He might be able to get on top of the fusion supports here. And that's what he wants. Just wait and see. One tick gained so far. Gaga back, aim got anti out. Monk is gonna be the one who actually finishes him off. Drops down, joins in with the rest of the team, and they cannot pursue to actually find the elimination. Zest now in danger of going down. He's got no HP to work with. Looks like he finds a health pack somewhere off screen, while Gaga will be delivered up to death once more by Fury. But it's the Chengdu Hunt who's able to occupy the point once more and stop the ticks from coming through any further. Monk snipes another target, but a quick kill for him. Zen-like state for them. Able to calm themselves and... Calm the nerves, able to find the shots ring true and went out there. Even taking out Aim God earlier on in the fight, I was really concerned. When I called out Monk, I saw him being isolated by Zest, but he was able to jump down to the safety of Nisha on the Brigitte and provide that added safety net and clearance for them, which keeps them alive and, and helps turn the fight around for the Shandu Hunters. The third was accrued on the map, so that will be their jumping off point next time they touch the point. They still have a long way to go if they're going to cap point A and extend the map. Okay, Nano's out. Zest, however, Zest down. down, leave. Gets a headshot no again, just like he is. That's going to be the damage dealer is now eliminated. The Nano, not going to lead to anything here from Fury. Nothing gained. Gets the push away there onto Jinmu for a brief little moment, but he knows that this is just an inevitability. Gets taken down. Looks to go off the side of the map here for the quick little reset. But here oh, comes no. the bullying. Yeah, I mean, hands off the keyboard. Can't say I blame you, Fury. They wait for him to wake up. They finish him with the anti. That's a minute and 35 seconds now left for Fusion on this attack. And look at the only the ultimate resource they have is that self-destruct online. They're about to get transcendence in the blade. They won't have an ammo boost available unless this fight gets elongated. Jumping hunters, meanwhile, overclock, pulse bomb, nano boost, the rally. This oh, I mean this is the dive. This is the last fight. It's pretty much done for the hunters. Like they're pretty much gonna take this one. Hell of a lot to work with. Fusion need to play catch up here. Getting that blade up. online is gonna be a big one for them. Don't have that transcendence to try to keep everybody alive through it. Jinmu diving into the back doesn't let the pulse bomb go. He's a good nasty hit of damage, and now he's in danger of dying. Barely manages to make it away from Fury in time. What is it? This is their final fight. They need to get that blade online. They're not going to have the nano boost for it. They're running out of time here, Seth, and he's still not traded up. This is going to be an absolute nightmare for them. Pulse bomb went out. There's the EMP. Okay. Burn! The EMP. They found leave. Yep, huge target found, but Evan 3 still going to get traded. Looks like he didn't have the trends. Locator set up to try to exit. Zest now blade pulled. Here comes the primal. But great sleep from Fixit. Does put the monkey down on the floor, but he gets woken up. But he oh, he's to fight back. Transcendence rolling. Aim God trying to keep everybody else in this fight, but now he's taking down Gaga, fighting them both. Leaps over to the side. Monk gets the snipe onto Zest. And 50.4% established off the rip. Seems like it's going to be as good as it gets. Fusion very much in danger of getting full health unless we see something miraculous happen in these next 10 seconds. 
Oh my god, that was so unfortunate. Engod moving around too much with the Transcendence. Fixer got out of LOS in that door frame, and Gaga was able Need to get Kumba Stomp to finish him off. Who's gonna touch? Zest gotta do okay. it. Zest touches. He manages to make it happen. Not just gonna see the round end right here, right now. So Zest does force the UFC. Overclock at the ready, the only ult. Now the Nana was, is gonna be there for Fixer as well. Goes over to Fury, who's now sent Swap over shot. onto the Duke Fist, but Zest instantly bodied by the Overclock. He gets a two for one special. One shot, two kills, fix the name God. They get collided, I do believe. And that will be the full hold coming through from the Chengdu Hunters. We saw at the very beginning, we didn't really make a note of it. That stat at the bottom of the screen saying the Chengdu Hunters have not lost a series to Fusion yet this year. And this is a great way to answer back. Woo, okay. Great performance there from the Chengdu Hunters. Massive turnaround to kick things off. Came to life a little bit at the end there, Fusion, but made a little mistake with LOS and losing fights and really weren't able to trade up against the economy that Hunters built for themselves. Then Lee across the line just hit some ridiculous shots with the overclock. Two for one specials, as you called in. Also getting a highly mobile zest on the tracer to be caught out as well. Once you do the panic pit switch over to Doomfist, if you don't get the assassination, don't get the quick burst, you're probably not going to walk away with the map. 50.4% on the board. It's a benchmark that the Fusion are going to have to defend against. One wrong fight by the Fusion. One disastrous fight that they lose. That's enough time for Hunters to claim it and make that time. Because they're going to be coming back with those panic picks like we always see. And at that point, I think the map's over. And we're going to end up with a tied series. And Seth, we will be denied another free Overwatch. Which is really what we're looking for here today. Yes, very much so. I'll leave. We kind of saw him yawning a little bit on cam after that first map, but it seems like he's uh, fully woken up, rubbed his eyes, maybe sipped a little coffee or an energy drink, perhaps, and is uh, very much looking awake, at least when it comes down to the Sojourn play. Some beautiful shots throughout that. It's really helped deliver that full hold. Now, Fusion looking for the fuller hold. They want to walk away from this 2-0 up. Okay. Jinmu already Baby caught. Camp in the pack. Great catch. A good start. That's going to buy them 30 seconds. Back up to the high ground now. Full reset here coming in for the fusion. Just able to play around the terrain still. Gargoyle's going to stay on the Winston. Can go up to the high ground to challenge Fury, but that old Discord, he's not going to be able to get the aim god who's right at the back. So Discord gets thrown on the Winston. Shield gets broken. Lots of damage to burst him down. Should it not be handled correctly? Zest playing so far forward. Nisha anteed, but the kill not found. Would have been a major pick for them. Monk trying to make his way up the staircase, but he's got, got nowhere him. to go. Gets caught. The pulse bomb finishes him off. Zest looking good here once more. Back over onto the tracer. Whip shot pushes right back up onto the hot ground, actually. Wait, look how cheeky, is Angle there? Why is Angle uh, there? Uh, I uh, couldn't tell you. Fix it will find Nisha, so it's not going to be without cost, but the slow run back for Aim God. Is going to be potentially brutal here. Fix it with I can't his cut believe out for him. that. I can't believe that Aim God was just like it, right in the point blank range of a Winston. He had safety when the back way he was. He probably regrouped to avoid getting assassinated on the back line. But once he's in Gargar's face, it's really easy through the cleave damage of the Tesla cannon to find him as well. Aim God goes down, does get back to the point, lost a lot of space. Zest goes down as well. Not looking good for the fusion. Oh, the stick. Okay. That's going to be the Nano in response, actually, to go ahead and try to keep him alive, but now they're just going to hold die oh, on the back got this. end. And Jinwoo and Gaga get in there. They find the eliminations. EMP is massive. There is a self-destruct, but it is going to find absolutely nothing. And with those Tight series. cleared out, Gaga will go ahead and pop the Primal in celebration. Jinwoo tries to get the EMP catch onto uh, Zest. He will not. And that will be the cap. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We have a series. At long last, on our hands, tied up one to one. Chengdu Hunters take the Paraiso in very swift fashion to go ahead and make this one to one. I'm watching, the, I'm watching back the collat shot. Yeah, you want to double check to make sure it was accurate. Yep. Yeah, it's a collat. <laughs> double Whoa. headshot collat from Leave to go ahead and really put that attack in the dirt. That's Paraiso very swiftly dealt with here by the Chengdu Hunters who. Uh, like I said, seem to have woken up. So no three Overwatch to round out the evening. We will at least be getting to push. Again, could be mildly concerning given that it is New Queen Street and the proficiency that Fusion show on that map. But the Chengdu Hunters can come in and win map number three. And they're going to be in a decent spot. Imagine, Seth, 
Imagine if the series earlier today didn't go the way it went and uh, Spark ended up coming out with a win against the charge. They would be in a position right now where they would have... Imagine the emotions they would have gone through. They would have watched the first map and gone, oh, Jesus Christ, we're not getting the playoffs. Fusion, they're just going to stomp Chengdu Hunters. We get to map two, Chengdu Hunters get it, and all of a sudden, now it's looking a little bit dicey. I mean, look, they're no longer the masters of their fate. We just have to watch Fusion in a confirmed position, but Spark are going to be kicking themselves even more if Fusion dropped the ball here in this series. Yep, looking a bit dicey, looking a bit dicey, because it seems like he's going to be stepping back in, but we'll confirm that after the break, and then we'll have Route 66, so don't go anywhere. And we are back. Let's carry on our merry ways. We are currently tied up one to one. Paraiso went the way of the Chengdu Hunters. And then we have a tied up series, which means no three overwatch to close out the evening. We will at least have four maps played. Coming up next, it's going to be Route 66 for our escort map to see who is going to be able to take a lead, move up to match point, and potentially close it out from there. Yeah, Daisy's coming back in as well. As we already mentioned before we jumped into the break, Gaga out, Daisy in. 
Um, so probably will be moving away from the Winston flavor that the Hunters tried to roll out with and actually found a lot of success with. But I think that's I mean, more about yeah. Lee being able to play Sojourn more so than anything else. I think uh, just being able to get those quick assassinations. And aim God, work on your placement a little bit, bud. I don't want you point blank range in front of a Winston again. Not very good. Not very good. Yeah. Uh, Philadelphia Fusion, yeah. they'll be defending first. Uh, it's up for the Shondu Hunters to go on the offense. and. Yeah, uh, Route 66 escort map type. We already know we're getting a map four for the first time. We are going to see push today, Seth, at least. So, uh, yeah, we've broken the threshold. That we have. And again, you know, I still do worry a little bit for the for the, uh, the Chengdu Hunters in that regard, just given which push map it is. Had the rules been reversed, we'd be saying the same exact thing for the fusion's sake, given that the Chengdu Hunters are absolutely incredible on Coliseum. We'll have to just wait and see, though. What happens, and also who's going to be walking into that push map with the lead as Route 66 is going to determine who's at that match point spot. So we'll see what happens as we jump into game, see if they've got any surprises for us. But something tells me that probably not. Uh, <laughs> it could just be some more Diva v. Diva <laughs> action, honestly. I have a feeling that's probably what we're going to see, to be honest. A little bit more Diva from Fury and Diva from Dicey. As we move on. Like, what's the rollout from Chandu Hunters? It'd be very telling. Ooh, Dizzy Zarya? That works too. All right. I mean, they are first on the defense here for the fusion. Fury will be committing to this Zarya. It seems he's sitting all the way back in the spawn room still. Yeah, he's thinking about it. You're thinking about it. Pulse jump, waiting. Assessing options. No, there you go, time. Diva. And okay, it's going to be the Diva v. Diva in the end as Dizzy Zarya. I got paid so. Okay. Yeah, I got paid it. Got there in the end, but I like some of the other stuff that we're seeing right now from the side of the Chengdu Hunters. Jinmu potentially bringing out the Genji leave with that sojourn, which was looking incredible just a moment ago on Paraiso. Seems like Daisy, okay, he's going to opt away from that D.Va. Maybe once he sees that Fury is piloting it, he'll change it up, but seems like he's just going to go ahead and push out the gate with it. Wants to be able to offer up these bubbles as Jinmu goes diving into the back lines, I suppose. Yeah, let's see how they go. MM3 just lingering behind at the moment, getting all the recon. Hack on to Nisha, but does not get an opportunity to deal any damage off the back of that. Immediately spotted out by Monk and forced away. Yeah, nothing really going to be gained there. Hack will expire. Nisha is still perfectly safe. Cart now advancing past the first corner. Fury will drop down to the low ground. Swing around the back of the billboard. Jin Moon spotting a couple people. Sends out some right clicks and starting to just farm up the blade off the back side of the here. Oh, okay. Oh. Dizzy gets yeeted uh. up and slept at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just brought up onto the high ground. Leave. Gets a headshot there on his zest. Went down. Low HP, but the heals do come through from Nisha and Monk. They keep him alive. Big opening here for the side of the Chengdu Hunters. Hack does come through. Rail shot not going to connect him. And three just trying to harass him off this position, but Cart is still going to be occupied by the Chengdu Hunters. They will keep advancing forward. Fury has to wait for the rest of the team to join in before he really pushes out to contest this. A lot of distance being given up. Yeah, they're right on the last uh, hurdle of point A at this point. They can just emerge from the billboard and contest quite safely. Monk's very far back in the high ground position, but there's a direct path from the entry. Jimmy Blade! Yeah, built up very quickly, just a minute and a half to get the blade online. Fury, however, gets himself into the back line, finds Monk and Nisha. So the blade, well, gets one. It's not going to deliver them this cap onto point A. So still in with a shout on the fusion. They try to go for this hold. Half the time bank about to be drained down. The blade a bit of a whoop, and that's just going to be the cart now rolling back. And they didn't, I mean, they use a nano, and that's about it. So I think you take those if you're uh, if you're the Philly Fusion. Yeah, it's a great position for them to be in to put the brakes on it. You said they've already given up a lot of point A, so being able to really dig their heels in a bit here and burn this time is going to be super important for the success of this map. Dash out from Jinmu, nearly goes down. This is the neutral damage. That's going to be four ults, basically versus four. If Leaf can get this overclock online to match with everybody else. Hell of a lot of firepower, but of course, with Fury being on the Diva, there's always a chance that he eat once dies. He does get this grab online. Jinmu gets the nano boost, Nanos. jumps up over the top on top of the girls, and is trying to farm for the blade, but everybody just deals with him so swiftly. Shut him down with One relative minute ease. One minute 20 remaining. We have Dizzy's grab. Oh, to get D-Mech as well. That's big. His opportunity to use it, but they're going to remake fast because Fury had the self-destruct available. Angle's on 
Yeah, and Aimgod gets a kill. Zest does get slapped. Leaf pushes up onto the high ground, finds that elimination. Nade comes down. Aimgod now could be popping the transcend. It's trying to keep everybody alive. Poor timing. That is going to last well, for the majority timing. of that grab. Now the grab is gone. They get themselves right back over to the cart. They keep it contested. 1.66 meters away with 54 seconds remaining. Fury. Oh, they Nano, the EMP once with more. Transcend. It's out from Nisha. Mega Pack going to be grabbed. Fury stays alive. Aimgod trying to hold the cart here alongside Fixa. Ooh, they managed to do so. They take down Daisy. The front line broken down once more. Fury anted out, but he pulls away and he manages to stay safe. 30 seconds left. We got that EMP from MN3. Jim has gone down as well. Shondu yeah. Hunters had such a strong start on the map, Seth, but I think they've just lost all the gas in the tank at the end of point A. They're going to need a miracle to shut down the MN3 EMP. If that lands on the support line, they can follow up correctly. It's over for the Hunters' run. There's still a chance, but they need this rail from Leave to hit somebody. The EMP Four goes man. out, manages to catch on a four. Monk, Nisha instantly dealt with. Daisy now dead as well. And I think that is it. The nail in the coffin is Fury. Scoops up two of the kills. Jin Musef kiting back over towards the diner. Aim God making sure that there is no cheekiness going on. No back cap attempt. And it will in fact be a full hold. So much distance within the first minute and a half established from the Chengdu Hunters. But Fusion managed to stabilize. The Nano onto Fury coming up with those two kills. Being able to eliminate the back line made all the difference. Look, they, look, they dug in their heels, the EMP came in. As soon as the EMP landed, Fixer managed to land also an amazing bio nade. You saw it basically be the, se the, the decision maker on whether Monk was going to live or not. And Nisha was put under so much pressure by that as well because they were affected by the anti. So they need to take cover, cut down their LOS. They can't really heal the rest of their lineup as well because they have to protect themselves. So if they go down, there's now no healing for the Shangdu Hunters. So really tough spot for them to be in. Uh, point A pretty much needs to be captured here by the fusion on their offense. Totally achievable. Uh, especially if the hunters allow a walk-in like they were to receive on their offense as well. Really, uh, really unfortunate timing with Daisy's grab that round as well. Um, I believe Aim God was forced to use the Transcendence because they were under pressure from leave. And just as they used the Transcendence, Daisy shot out the Graviton Surge. So it was an immediate counter uh, for that ultimate, which meant everyone survived. And it was just a bit of unfortunate timing for the Chengdu Hunters. Yeah, I mean, if they had a little bit less rollback, honestly, the grab would have been enough to get them off the cart long enough for them to push through into A. Stop the contest, but just not enough distance set up. Too much rollback there. So now, looking for the ever-elusive Fuller Hold. Jinmu getting a body shot there from the Widowmaker. Quick swap over from Zest. Goes for the Tracer once more. Leaves out on the Sojourn, though, so anything's possible. Game of three, getting in behind the enemy team. Pushing around the flank, as is Zest. Toward aggression from Fury as well. A little bit of damage exchanged, MN3 spotted. So he makes his exit, Jinmu unable to hound him down. They have the reveal on the Monk for now. They have completely surrounded by allies, so no easy access onto the Zenyatta. MN3 needs to go grab some healing quickly. They've been sat about third HP for a while. Finally, we're going to collect that. I feel like this is going to be a decisive pick in a second that blows this wide open. The payloads rolled passively forward enough where a decisive fight win could spell disaster. Oh, oh, good shot. Great shot. Zest not seeing that one coming. Just gets clipped in the head from the flank. Leave with a nice opener. Builds up another rail. Spamming away at the legs of the mech here. Just over halfway towards that overclock now. Needs its stat. All that rail charge now expiring, so no chance for a quick instant deletion here. Has to build that back up. Fury's going to go to look to contest to get the hack out on the leave. Bubbles come through from Daisy, however, to keep him safe. Nice forward operating base here to be used by MM3. Constantly sneak into the back line. Supports have been flagged. Oh. Fury gets a great eat. And that is the Fury that we have known for times long since past. He's down. Gets the eat onto the poles. MM3 gets leave. Out of the frame, self-destruct up over the top, not going to be able to find the supports, but Fury knows exactly where they are, and he's got them locked into a side room. Daisy is trying to peel, but all of this action is happening so very far away from the cart. The cleanup comes through, Jinmu tucks away inside of Big Girls, has to recall, has to dash away, and the cart will continue to advance, and that is just going to be the push coming in. Fusion making it look easy. They take the lead once more, now 2-1, as we get ready to go into push, and that is New Queen Street to remind you all. Fusion likely feeling pretty damn good about their odds.
Look, Fury may not have got the kills on the back line there at the end, Seth, but forcing them into that tunnel is as good as killing them to the rest of the team. There are zero sightlines for the main conflict in that tunnel. So by Fury forcing both Nisha and Monk in there, it means that the front line is not getting any heals. It just means that Daisy is an easy target to pick off for the rest of them because he's got no support. None of the resources have been funneled into the tank line. Fantastic play from Fury at the end. Grabs himself an E on the pulse bomb that comes out from Leave. Immediately zones off the back line as well. Um, fantastic play to seal the deal there for Fusion. And like you said, it does not bode well for the Hunters. We're going to New Queen Street, and that's Philly Fusion turf. It certainly is, but if the Chengdu Hunters can get a win on New Queen Street, they're definitely in a very good spot to be able to take this series because we saw that first round of control, Chengdu Hunters not looking like themselves. Didn't really look like they were awake at all. Uh, so if they do extend this into, I believe, what, Busan again, then there's definitely a decent opportunity for them to be able to close out the series. But they have to win on New Queen Street first, and it is going to be a tall order for them. We'll see if they can muster it, see if they can manage it. When we come back for the break, otherwise Fusion going to be looking to take down the Chengdu Hunters for, if I am correct, if I read that stat correctly earlier, the first time this season. So don't go anywhere, guys. The action continues when we come back.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to carry on with our series and see whether or not the Fusion are going to be able to close out this set three to one. Or if the Chengdu Hunters can fight back once again. It's going to be New Queen Street, the staging ground for a turnaround in the series if they're able to manage one. I have to just wait and see how it all goes down. But Fusion, as we have said time and time again throughout this evening, this has been their stomping ground. This has been one of their best maps, period. Not just in push, obviously limited options in that regard, but this has been a huge map for them, just generally speaking. It does not bode well for the Hunters. Like I said, it's a bit of a coin flip with the two current push maps in the circulation. Coliseo, definitely one for the Hunters, and New Queen Street, definitely one for the Fusion. We'll have to wait until the playoffs patch. I don't know, actually, if in playoffs we are going to get the uh, new um, I think it's Esperanza, the new Portuguese map that's also yes. a push. Uh, that'll be good if that is in circulation for playoffs, because then we can mix it up, and then it's not a coin flip. It's something triangular shaped flipped. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll we'll be out here. Yeah. Roll yeah. a little three sided die or whatever. It's yeah, that works. Three sided die. Three sided die to decide which uh, which push map we go to. New Queen Street up next for you. And if the Chanters find a way to take down the fusion, we will of course be going to Busan to close things out. Our first five mapper of the day in a day we predicted would be full of them. Alrighty, well here we go. Gates now about to open up. As we get ready to have battle commence. Right, well, we've got Copwise. Daisy still on the Zarya, and Fury going to stick with the Diva. No reason for them to change. They had a great final performance there on Route 66 to close out the deal. High ground taken by the Hunters. Oh, yeah, Definitely got the positional clean. advantage for the time being. I think that's just the benefit of having Nisha, right? It just enables them to get here much faster and take high ground control. And up now the drop down here onto the bot. Skirmishing continues. Dizing going low, pops a bubble, gains 40 energy off that one. The healing will come out from Monk as well, but Anisha under fire. Continues to get whittled away at Zest. Trying to find that elimination, can't quite make it happen. But for now, still locked in position. Starting to move forward here for the Chengdu Hunters. Will be able to get a little bit of distance going here for themselves. And with MN3 getting taken down, maybe they can get a lot of bit of distance. So we'll have to see exactly what happens. But for now, the rest of the fusion are going to be pulling away. Jim Nuka's bubbles. He's leading the charge right now for the Hunters as they try and get more. Daisy burns down aim goal. Fractured kills coming in here. Not close to fight wins. They're just getting little picks every now and then. Stall Tactics trying to come in here around the back using those stairs to contest the payload and delay it as much as they can. A hyper mobile hero like Zest on the Tracer has opportunity to do that and get out safety and stop the progress while the team regroups. It's a good option to put in here to keep this game competitive. Yep, now moving forward, 30 meters obtained here for the side of the Hunters. Fusion, there's the opening pick with the bubble from Daisy. will go and absorb that pulse bomb. So, not going to find the punish that they were looking for. Not the window of opportunity that they certainly wanted. Nano used on a Fury. Gets slept for a brief little moment there. Goes straight back into the action. Knocks down, but going to be taken down. But it's at the cost of Aim God. So, a little Boostio! bit of exchange. Nisha is going to be Boostioed. Not sure if this was intentional or if he dove in front, but either way, they do keep him in the fight to try to keep this fight going in their favor. So that's pursuing forwards, trying to get the damage to finish him off, but just can't quite manage it. Got control of the bot, but haven't put any progress on the ball by moving the barricade yet. Hunter's giving them a lot of space to work with for the time being, but will contest them before they can anywhere close to being able to surpass their distance. Zest on the flank, as you'd expect. Emin free in position with the EMP. That's it, they're right on top of Monk. They need to convert this, but the beat comes out. The beat comes out, and so does the blade, and Jinmu finds both damage dealers from the fusion. Strikes him down. The bot again, getting moved into a push position. Fury going to be broken out of the mech. It's going to be a long reset for him. Jinmu is now noted. Both of the supports are on the backside. Aim God going to be eliminated as Daisy joins the fight. Fix uh, the last one to fall. And that's going to be the Chengdu Hunters pushing once more, getting ever closer to that checkpoint. Yeah, I think they're going to claim this one, get those forward spawns unlocked. Further this goes, the harder it's going to be for Fusion to take a lead in the map. We're still only three minutes into the map so far. Ten minute timer. Now they can dig their heels in, play a little bit more defensively using the forward grounds. Bots been pushed. Forward spawn stay active, I believe, until we get it back to the central point. That does. Fury's just good. Still amount of there, just lingering. 
not being, you know, seeing Zest be able to, to steal these bots away, much like we've seen from him in the past. Jungle Hunter seemingly paying good attention to it, but Zest does manage to finally get some value out of the polls. Daisy not in a position to offer up a bubble to Jinmu, so he ends up going down. He can finally maybe start gaining some actual distance here. And he can also take away those forward spawns. Just in case. Okay, progress. They're gaining, gaining one person on to be able to get it out in red. He's life support, gets the nano boost to stay alive, turns it around on Jinmu! And Jinmu is dead once more, comes right back into the fight, sit right back into the respawn room, except this time he's even a little bit further away. Great punish, great nano. Thank God, trying to charge up that right click around the corner. Can't quite get a hit onto anyone, but the bot still a good amount of space offered up to it. Get close to these barriers, close to this checkpoint, but eventually, Chengdu Hunters will be able to recontest this. Jin moves right back into it, gets chunked immediately down. Oh, and no, got no, no, again. no, 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 no! Unbelievable, and the self destruct fights. Daisy, Fury taking him down, and these are the openings here for the side of the fusion, just That's storming it. their way through. Yep, they wipe the floor with them, Zest cleaning up the rest. Jin Mu, uh, just go, go sit back in the spawn room, son. You don't want to die again. Now checkpoint is obtained. <laughs> the bot will take a little bit of a break, but right now Fusion, with how much ground they control, they can take the lead here. Absolutely, they're going to surpass the distance and put the ball back in the Hunter's Court to be able to surpass them. Like I said, the, the catch-up the catch up potential in this mag game mode is very limited. So hard to catch up once the distance stuck in on the board. Monk gets assassinated by Aim God. Dies and he's just able to right hit now. the volleys. The monk is dead. Cat, he's missing. So missing his Anna. Just, yeah, so low. He's missing still missing his around half. They got Nisha. Now Leave is dead. And Chungu Hunter, they have all these ults. They just haven't been able to use them. Jinmu, he actually tries to pull the play. Why? Why? Are you kidding me? He tries to make the hero play, but instead he just ends up looking like a zero. This gets completely shut down. Maybe he's going to swap, but right now it's looking like he's going to stick through with this Genji. And it's just the biggest head scratcher of an ult that I've seen from Jinmu in some time. He had a Dizzy Bubble to try and help there, but... I mean, that's not enough. You'd already lost about three members of your team. It's rough for you to try and go for that one. Speed boosting back to the... Speed boosting back to the bot. Fury needs some help. He's gonna get it. Dizzy on the aggressive. Just pushing up. Maybe he's giving he's him some space. Threaten the grab. Keep Fury interested. Play a little bit, bring around the Rosie and get the bot away from the fusion, but they'll cut through the alleyway and meet it before it gets to neutral territory, so they still hold the forward spawn for now. They have a considerable lead of nearly 40 meters. Three and a half minutes left to go. Chengdu Hunters, four alts online. They've been holding these for quite some time now. Can they actually get into position to use them? That is the question. For now, Dizzy, nano. low on energy. He no still energy. receives the nano. He's still pushing. Fury is just riding behind him, holding down Jimmy's that T-Matrix, and Jinmu gets killed by Aengod for what? The fourth time? I don't think yeah, he's ridiculous. been great. Dizzy, sure, you got ridiculous. plenty of energy, but you've got no Genji to play off the back of you here. He's just continuing to get bullied around. Has to kite back, and he just cannot make it out. There's the reset of the energy. Leave pops the overclock. He's trying to turn the tide somehow, some way. But Aim God is absolutely crushing at every twist and turn. He shuts him down. The ult gets absolutely nothing, and the fusion now start pushing again, looking to finish the map. Cap, cap on my new queen street. No, surely not. EMP ready with a fusion. Self-destruct as well. It, Transcendence. It's Never out of the question. Zest finds Daisy. Oh He's God. never going to get the use. He's never going to get the use. This grab. Blade from Jinmu will find MN3. Pushes up top. Looks for Aim God. Will get him. Fixes. Shuts him down. It's a three for two. Fusion still say, okay, screw it. Keep pushing the bot. Why not? Gain the extra distance. It doesn't matter if they die at this point. If they do, Daisy's got to grab to get out of the point, by the way. Out of the spawn, I should say. After Finally all that kills time. Zest. And the bot makes it within four meters of finishing. While the Chengdu Hunters finally at last grab control of it. The value of it. Like, you know what? Dicey held onto that grab so long it was like holding onto a crypto coin. There's just He was left holding the bag. The value of it decreased. Absolutely. Look at the distance. 124 meters to 57. I mean, Philly Fusion could just play pure defense and ride out the rest of this map at this point, Seth. Okay, aggressive self-destruct chucked in. Sound barrier on the back of the EMP. Nisha 
And it's just a fine MN3. Gets on top of him, gets the kill. That's one opening of several that are needed. They've got to fix up both under a bit of fire, and while they're distracted, dealing with Jinmu on the Tracer now. Nisha manages to go ahead and take down Zest. Aim got again, however, going to find a kill for himself. Gets a bit of Daisy. Now Jinmu out of the fight. Nisha taken down as Aim got gets himself a second. Now he's looking for the third. Just needs one, two more orbs to connect in on the monk. Takes him down to about a sliver of HP. Fury pushing forward, looks for the finish. The rockets come flying in, goes crashing in. Bubble comes out, but Pixa gets line of sight. They take him down to the end. The staggers are still there. The forward spawn lost from the Chengdu Hunters. The bot again moving towards the Chengdu Hunters base. And this is just looking completely and utterly brutal. 45 seconds remaining. This is rough. The only way that Chengdu, Chengdu Hunters can come back into this one is that they win fight. They're doing it, if they win, they're doing it in OT. So they have to win consecutive fights. Uh, the ultimate economy is relatively stable right now. Good opening pick onto MN3 is a great start. They've given the nano boost over to yeah. Daisy. Yes, Hunters, take control. Start pushing back, because like I said, you're doing this in OT if you're winning. Yeah, the Pixar just running forward, goes for the quicker reset. <laughs> They're just offering kills over to Daisy here, and he's able to scoop them, but fortunately, it's while the Fusion are inting to try to get that reset in as fast as possible. Forward spawns, I believe, yep, games for everybody, so they're gonna be close enough to this bot as we enter into overtime. Five seconds remaining, two ults to work with for the side of the Chengdu Hunters. Grab, catches one of the window, aim god, getting focused Fury's fired, just waiting. finally, they finally find the kill, but for a second it seemed like it wasn't gonna come through. Sleep Dark connects on a Fury, he gets woken up instantly, the self-destruct already available, he charges it, he finds Monk with the help of Sass. Self-destruct, now, not, not actually invested. Doesn't use it here. Curious. Either way, interesting. Another reset. The hunters win the fight. Forward spawns again going to be in their favor. Okay, I don't think they would have won the fight and turned it even if he remet there. So I think it's fine for him to go down because a lot of the team was in a dire position anyway. Comes back to it. Transcendence, nano boost, EMP, self destruct, all these tools available. Dizzy's used that grab. We're looking for overclock, pulse bomb, sound barrier. I would like to see MN3 actually win the mind gaming at N Nisha. Nisha has always been able to pull out the sound barrier to counter the EMP. I want to see him actually play around that a little bit better and actually not get caught off guard by that one. Here it goes. Nisha oh. used the beat immediately in response. They beat Dizzy in the overlap. Yep, Dizzy just taken down way too quickly. He was already hovering around half HP. Now leave again, going to die with the overclock roll and the shield taken out. Nisha hacked. Finished off. Chin Mill is just not a whole lot he can do. The self destruct thrown up into the air in celebration and to zone them back. The OT will bleed away. Another little touch here for a brief moment. <laughs> Monk will style on Aim God a bit, I suppose, but Aim God absolutely had the upper hand on this map. And Fusion continue to be the gods, the lords, the kings of New Queen Street here in the APAC meta. And that will be them taking this series three to one. They finally have bested the Chengdu Hunters here in this season. You can see Nisha with a, a bit of a wry smile on his face. He knows that for him, for the Fusion even at this point, this series does not necessarily mean a whole lot. But the fact that it was still so very one-sided could be a cause for concern. Like you said, Seth, that means that the Fusion have been able to get a dub against the Hunters this season. Coincidentally, the actual scoreline all time against them is Hunters are leading their head to head this season three to one. So, yep. very reminiscent of the series score we see right now. Poetic. Uh, but no, nice, poetic if you would do. But it's nice for them to get a dub out here, not be completely winless against one of these teams. Fusion has been one of these um, really weird, like, dark horse teams that have been able to find wins and play spoilers to the likes of Dragons, to the likes of Dynasty throughout the season. It would feel weird for them to not be able to defeat someone like the Hunters as well to make sure they've beaten every team at least once. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the player of the match and see who we've got lined up for you guys on the side of the Fusion. Either way, I think you could go uh, a couple different ways, but it's going to be Fury, who did have a whale of a time coming in, playing the off tanks, playing the D.Va primarily, and just looking excellent for the Fusion. Yeah, really had a peak moment at the end of Route 66. Cannot overstate how important their play was there. Eat the Pulse Bomb from Leave, and then shut out Monk and Nisha, denying all support to the tank on Route 66. Hopefully we get a glimpse of that in this replay because, yeah, uh, absolutely game-winning play for them right there. And it was already a low benchmark for the Fusion to succeed on Route 66. Uh, but it just made it that much easier when it came down to it. There you go, Pulse Bomb. He actually saving Aim God in there as well makes it more important. Don't see the zoning, but he immediately went up to the tunnel and locked them out of it. I mean, Fury I was Diva, worried, Nisha. Like, much like, you know, Void and Zarya, these are the things that you love to see these guys play because it's how they made a name for themselves. It's how they became, you know, considered 
the best in their position was off of these picks. So seeing Fury play Diva, I'm all about it. Some of the other Divas that we've seen in this region, I can do without it. <laughs> but <laughs> it, worked, it worked a treat here today for them to finally be able to win the Orange Chicken Bowl and take down Chengdu Hunters for the first time. So congratulations to Fury and the Fusion overall. Yeah, and so, like you said as well, Seth, we've uh, had a really big pivotal day for the Philadelphia Fusion. Less so about the result they suffered here. It's more so about what happened earlier in the day in the Charge versus Spark series. Spark being absolutely blown out. Already secured Fusion the place in the playoffs. They don't have to play through play-ins anymore. That was decided. This is more about just, like, keeping the form well, sending a message, making sure you're getting those reps in against some teams on the stage, because you will get a bypass. You're not doing play-ins, but you still have a long road ahead of you in the postseason. I mean, God knows if you're if you're the fusion, you would love to send any reinforcement and positive vibes to your fans that you possibly can. Because again, much like the Chengdu Hunters, they have had a very swinky season. It is, you know, that pendulum that goes back and forth and really determines what kind of form we find them in. But uh, this was very much a good look to be able to finally, in the last you know outing against Chengdu, take them down, get that win when they have had your number this whole season throughout, has got to be a very good feeling here for the fusion. Just a cherry on top of already getting locked into the playoffs. So Fusion going to be living large, rest and easy, and uh, sleeping well tonight, I would imagine. Yeah, I've already just been checking my phone to just see if Bad Patch Amari's celebrating, and no doubt he's going to be all over socials because Fusion yeah. bring him no end of joy right now. So, uh, yeah, Fusion qualified. Good victory against the Chengdu Hunters. Not much more you could ask for as a Philly Fusion stand today. Probably one of your best days of the season so far. Yeah, very much so. I mean, other than, I guess, the times they would, you know, have 3-0 the, the Shanghai Dragons and whatnot. Th that probably feels a little bit better in hindsight. Feels good, but, Ben. Uh, Does it? Still, this, this is this is playoff, Seth. This is playoff secured. Exactly. <laughs> still a very good a, a very good feeling and a, a very much a thing to celebrate there if you are a Fusion fan. So congratulations again to them. Uh, but... You know, that does it. This is a hell of a lot earlier than I thought we were going to be finishing. It's only, what, 10.34 <laughs> for me. Uh, yeah. Last week, on, you know, when we had our three-match day on Saturday, I think I didn't finish until about 12.30 p.m. So two Ooh, hours earlier, enough. I'll take it. It might not be the 15 maps that we had my, I had my fingers crossed for, but it was still some uh, entertaining gameplay in the end, I suppose, and some pretty crazy things that happened throughout there. So for all the people who are going to be watching on the Encore, Good luck. You're going to need Have it fun. to get through it all. Uh, <laughs> to everybody who was watching this live, go ahead. Tell your friends that they missed one of the most bizarre, <laughs> weird days of not just APAC, but of Overwatch League in general because mm. things were weird. But it's time for myself and Trid to get some much-needed R&R to relax, to clear our heads, and shake off the tilt. We're going to be back tomorrow bringing you guys the last two series of the week. So make sure you guys tune in same place, same time, and check out those games. We'll see you then.